Hello and welcome e-learning enthusiasts. Today's video kicks off a new kind of tutorial series, one focused on simple practical tips to help you get even more out of Tutor LMS. So let's jump in and explore some small adjustments that can make a big difference in your e-learning experience. So first off, let's start with something new Tutor LMS added with one of its recent updates, a membership only mode. So to find this, we'll have to go to settings. You need to make sure that the Tutor LMS native e-commerce engine is activated, obviously. Then go to the subscriptions tab, scroll down under options, and here you'll find a toggle that will enable the membership only mode. So this mode lets you transform your entire site to be with memberships only. So when you go to the toggle, it will tell you what you can expect from this mode. So you'll have only memberships and single course pricings or subscriptions for courses and bundles will no longer be available. Students who are already enrolled in a course will remain unaffected. So we'll go with yes, proceed. And now your site is only accessible through memberships. So of course, with this mode enabled, you wanna make sure that you have multiple tiers of membership plans so as to give a wide range of options for students. And next up, something that goes hand in hand with the membership only mode is the ability to bulk enroll students in membership plans. You've seen from our previous videos that you can manually enroll or bulk enroll students into courses. If you enable the membership only mode and if you go to the enrollments tab, now when you click on enroll students, you'll see that it no longer says select a course, it says select a membership plan to enroll students to. So because we only have two membership plans, you can select either one of these plans and you can also do the bulk enrollment or you can manually enroll one or two students to this membership. And if you hit enroll now, this student is now part of this membership plan. And this is a great way to manage your membership only site, giving you more granular modular control over how you want your site to be. And another lesser known modular setting that TutorLMS has is allowing you to offer free trials for memberships with TutorLMS. So how do we do that? We have to go back to settings go to the subscriptions tab and when you go to create a new membership plan you'll find a new toggle here called offer a trial period if you enable the toggle you can then set a length of the trial so how many days you want the trial to last let's say if we set it to 10 days you can also then set a price for the trial so this would be a price for the trial after which students would have to purchase the membership with the membership's purchase price. If you set this price to zero, that means that this is a free trial. Students will not have to pay anything for 10 days to use this membership. If we set it to $2, that means that students will have to pay $2 to get this trial period. Generally, we wanna make sure that the trial period is free as this can increase trust and give an opportunity for students to try out our memberships before they can make an informed decision about if they want to buy it or not. Additionally, to make this process even smoother, if we scroll down from here, we'll see that there's another toggle called skip payments for free trials. So basically, if we turn on this toggle, this will reduce the friction for when a student wants to join quickly and just see what the free trial consists of. So if there is a free trial and a student enrolls or decides to get into the free trial, they won't have to go through the whole payment gateway setup. They'll just instantly be able to access that membership for the trial period. And if we set this, this is how it looks on the front end. So you can see that students can see that there's a free trial for this membership and they can avail the free trial to check out the membership before they decide to pull the trigger and actually purchase the membership. Well, that's it for this video, everyone. We hope that this new series of tips and tricks about Tutor Elements helps some of you find out more ways that Tutor Elements lets you customize your e-learning site. If you have any suggestions on what 
topics we should cover next, be sure to let us know in the comments. And of course, if you face any issues while using Tutor LMS, be sure to let us know that as well. As always, thank you for watching and have a good one, everyone. Thank you.